Hey what's up guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to install iOS 5 on non-compatible devices. Now this isn't the official firmware, but it's a firmware that looks and runs in a very similar way. Now this is available for the iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 1st Gen and iPod Touch 2nd Gen. Now uh, you go onto the site here, I'll put a link in the description below, and you choose the version you want. So as an example, I'll show you with the iPhone 3G, um, there is quite a few different downloads. Now. Um, it says here, developers preview 1, 2, and, uh, sorry, developers 3, 2, and 1. Uh, I recommend using the newest one, so in this case, it's preview 3. Now, if you're watching the video in the future, you'll probably see a few more, like 4 or 5. Uh, so choose the newest one, which is available, which will be the highest number. Now, as you can see, for the iPhone ones, not for the iPod ones, uh, it says normal or unlocked. Now, if you have the official carrier with the phone, uh, choose... Oh, sorry, ignore this. So, uh, choose the normal one. Uh, but if you have a different one than the phone was originally designed for, choose the unlocked one. It basically means that the SIM card will still work with the phone even though it's not the official one. So, basically, just download the file you want uh, and then go onto iTunes. Now, I'm not going to do this because I have the iPhone 3GS, which is compatible with iOS 5, so I don't need to do this. But go onto uh, iTunes, choose, um, click on the little tab with your iDevice then hold the shift key on PC now if you're using the Mac key hold the option key I think that's what it is, I'm not quite sure now hold that and click restore and then browse for the file and click on the file and run it I'll also put a little guide in the description explaining how to do it um, so then leave it a few minutes and it should install, take a little while and then you'll have iOS 5 now I have most of the features such as notification menu and features like that on there um, and I, like I said this is, this is actually a developers ver version so you're doing this at your own risk, it's not my fault uh, if it goes wrong. So if you need any help guys, send me a private message or leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Um, so yeah, also can you please click the subscribe button up above. You know, one click helps me so much.